safe, yeah. there's two pieces in safety engineering. One is methodical engineering. Testing does not make you safe. I'll say it again because it's that important. Testing never made anyone safe. What testing does is make sure the engineering is adequate. So if you don't put safety in the engineering, you're not going to get it out just by testing it into submission. It's not going to happen. Okay. And so what the safety standards, every industry has one, including the car companies and every other industry, but the car companies follows their safety standard. Car guys don't all the time or many times for reasons that are escape me. All right. But if you follow your safety standard, it tells you you have to use rigorous engineering and the more harm that can be done, the more rigorous the engineering. So you don't just slop out some code. You actually spend a lot of time getting peer reviews and testing and making sure the code is clean. And these are the kind of things I teach in my course, those kind of skills. Um, so that's half of it. OK. And, and the other half is you have to have redundancy because you know things will go wrong. Uh, and so a lot of it is about redundancy management. Yes, you need two computers. But how does if there's two computers, how do you know which one is the one that's sick and which one's the one's healthy? That's what, what I was going to ask earlier. <laughs> oh, I'm healthy. Trust me. It's all good, right? And yep. and so you end up sometimes having three computers and one is there just to, to keep the other guys honest. And, so you have you a know, voting you get, system. like, you like have two or three or four standards. computers dep depending. And it's all about, well, some of this redundancy is to tell when the other guy's out to lunch. And a different part of this redundancy is to take over when one guy goes out to lunch. 